Hi guys, it is a gloomy, stormy night here in the end times, and I don't know if this is paradise or not. I guess a lot of people would consider this paradise. This is lovely downtown Fredericksburg, Texas. I and there's probably more clueless fucking morons uh, in, in three blocks of me right now than definitely I've been surrounded with in, uh, in weeks. Good Lord, look at the happy little consumers here on Thursday night. Uh, Thursday night, April 13th, 2017, as darkness descends on the end times of Fredericks, Fredericksburg, Texas. Uh, anyway, it being uh, Thursday, and particularly Thursday, April 13th, uh, obviously your old depressed collapsitarian eco-Nazi uh, has been uh, thinking I've been on behind the wheel of this goddamn gas sucking truck. My poor little dog is exhausted. We've been on the road for 11 fucking hours and uh, had a lot of time to sit here and think about uh, my old buddy Michael Rupert who three years ago today stuck that gun in his head and blew his brains out of the back of his head after he added up the math and the handwriting on the wall and decided he just had enough of the clueless fucking morons and was checking out of here. Anyway, uh, just several rants occurred to me and, uh, and I just need to get off my chest a couple of rants because I don't know when I'm gonna have time to do these in the next few days as I'm partying like it's 1999 uh, for the next week or so. But anyway, you know, Michael Rupert was was a whole lot of things. Now, now, one thing he he wasn't was was an eco Nazi, but that's not what this rant is about. Uh, but this rant is about. I am very embarrassed to say, and I'm really going to try to make it my last one ever. I will try to hold on to this promise. This is the last time that I will mention 9/11 being an inside job. So, uh, Michael Rupert was way, way, way uh, deeper into 9-11 being an inside job than I will ever be. Uh, you know, that book, Crossing the Rubicon, I admit I can't read it. Good God. Uh, but that man did his homework. Michael Rupert is not a clueless moron okay he is not a clueless moron and uh, he is a hell of a lot more convinced even than I am that 9-11 uh, was an inside job and he's got a 500 page book spelling out uh, the reasons that he was drawn to that conclusion and maybe if I read crossing the Rubicon, I would be more of a 9-11 truther than I already am. You know, I basically just say uh, I'm with the architects and engineers for truth. If 2,000 architects and engineers who know a hell of a lot more about the subject than I do believe that those uh, airplanes did not take those goddamn buildings down, uh, then who am I to argue with them? So I'm with them, but that's really about as deep as I go. And then the other thing that, uh, that Michael Rupert uh, almost is vociferously as being a 9-11 uh, a truther is that he's into peak oil. He is the, one of the, well was one of the single biggest peak oil proponents. Uh, and, and I admit, you know, I've admitted many times that I have fallen off the peak oil fence. Uh, so, you know, my, my basic 
rule on the view of peak oil is why I still agree that yes, we will eventually uh, reach peak oil. I mean, we would if there wasn't any such thing as climate change, but we are going to take this planet Venus and burn ourselves into crispy critters before we ever reach this quote peak oil. But it, it, just, it, it just goes to show you uh, the, the peak oil argument and the 9-11 truthers and, I, and, 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 and I'm sending this rant out because I don't need to name you buddy you're a fucking pussy is what you are you're a little chicken shit coward uh, is what you are brother and you know goddamn well you are you little, you're a fucking little spineless pansy that I'm going to send this Michael Rupert uh, rant out to with one of these little whiners uh, right here in the tribe. You know, he for the past few months, this guy was, uh, he's, he's a major, major peak oil proponent sounding just like Michael Rupert. Uh, although I don't agree with him and Michael Rupert about peak oil, uh, but I guess... Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I, what I did, I, I was talking about, I don't know, I was going through some roundup, one of my 30-minute rants, going through about 20 stories, and I just mentioned in that, uh, in that rant that I was a 9-11 truther. And so the, this peak oil uh, proponent, uh, whose uh, opinions I respect is not a 9-11 truther and because because I mentioned that that I'm a little bit into the 9-11 rabbit hole this little spineless little fucktard this little uh, whatever and and, he, and I know he's listening to this rant you little chicken shit it, 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 he just disappeared off Humpty Dumpty tribe because someone uh, dared question you know his knowledge about so because Hambone Littletail uh, agrees with the architects and engineers for truth that that this little uh, spineless little shit uh, was just completely he just he just left the tribe uh, just winked out uh, because you know, and this, and this is the, and this is what this rant is about. I, I had some comments uh, after that. You know what what started. You know when I was talking those uh, literally about 15 seconds in the middle of this 30-minute rant, which had virtually nothing to do with any of the stories I was talking about, started out this big fucking debate between this little, this spineless little twerp, uh, you know, talking about how 9-11 truthers are so full of shit, blah, 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 and then we had the 9-11 truthers coming back in and doing their swinging, you know, and, and, and I'm reading these comments from both sides of the 9-11 truther movement and, and and I got the same feeling that I get when whenever I see this shit about the peak oil movement and and, and what that is is how these these people who are not clueless morons on you know that these few people that that get it what is going on on this planet who understand what is going on on this planet, how they get, how they, that they let themselves get caught up in this fucking, was 9-11 an inside job or not? Is peak oil real or, or you know, are, are we gonna burn ourselves up first? You know, and, and all of the, this little infighting, it is this divide and conquer shit. Uh, that you know the, these these eco Nazis, like this spineless little wimp uh, that shall remain nameless. I'm sure a lot of you know who I'm talking about. Uh, just you know when when their religion 
when they're when just barely brushed. Up. This is both sides of the 9/11 fence, you know. And uh, as I told one of the guys, uh, who I pretty much agreed with, Jesus, do you do you know how boring you sound? Uh, it, it just even though I agree with you, do you know how ignorant you sound? So, so what we've got. Pretty much with both of these, certainly with 9 So 9-11, we've been talking about this shit for 16 years. 16 years. We have been arguing uh, down here in these various rabbit holes that 9-11 was an inside job. Guys, there is not one fucking thing either side is ever going to say to the other side that's going to make anyone on the other side move one inch one inch on 9-11 and I will say there's virtually nothing uh, in the peak oil argument that there's not a goddamn thing that Michael Rupert uh, wrote there in crossing the Rubicon which was a combination, well, the book 500 pages by one of the great minds of the early 21st century, drawing the dots between peak oil and 9-11 being an inside job. Okay, but there is not one word that Michael Rupert or anyone else is going to say about 9-11 being an inside job at this point that somebody who has already made up their mind that 9-11 was not an inside job. It's, they're not going to move one inch. There's nothing that Michael Rupert has in that book in his 500 pages of evidence that's going to make uh, you know, one of these religious fanatics, uh, and they're on both sides of the fence, they're not going to move an inch. And the same can be said for peak oil. Uh, there is not one word that Michael Rupert, that Richard Heinberg, that James Howard Kunstler, that John Michael Greer, or this spineless little maggot who, who went on, on this pout uh, uh, here on Humpty Dumpty Tribe, there's not a goddamn thing that's going to come out of their mouth to make me believe they can talk their E R O I E A A B C X Y Z's till they're blue in the fucking face, and they're not going to change my mind about that we're going to reach peak oil before we burn the fucking planet up. So, all this. All of these, and, and, and then, there, and, and I'm sure there's others. There's, you know, the little spat that Paul Beckwith and uh, and Guy McPherson are having now. Are we going to be extinct in 10 years, 50 years, 500 years? You know, unbelievable energy, wasted fucking energy. Uh, arguing on, on whether humans are going to be extinct in 10 years, 50 years, or 500 years, like it makes a fucking bit of difference. Like it makes a fucking bit of difference at this point whether uh, we're going to hit peak oil or go Venus first. And sure as shit at this point, whether it makes a fucking bit of difference whether 9-11 was an inside job or not. Uh, all it is doing is dividing us, and it is one more way we, the few people on this planet who understand what is going on on this planet, how we, but by being divided over this little uh, minutiae, uh, is the way we're letting these evil motherfuckers conquer us. We are dividing ourselves is what we are doing. We need every person on the team. You know, uh, Michael Rupert, uh, the quarterback, checked out, but there's still a little bit of a team left here, guys. 
and, and you know, the more we have, uh, you know, intelligent people who understand what's going on on this planet and who have a lot to offer, Humpty Dumpty tribe, uh, to, you know, trying to explain this to people, going into some fucking little two-year-old pout uh, over because Hambone uh, agrees with 2,000 architects and engineers that 9-11 wasn't an inside job. Uh, and, and, and he thinks, and he follows the, uh, the mainstream media, so he's never going to speak uh, to Humpty Dumpty Tribe again. It, you know, it, it just, just, you embarrass me, you pathetic little asswipe. You know, you're, you're a shining example of, uh, of, of what's wrong, everything that is wrong with uh, the, the eco-Nazi community. We, you know, we represent about 0.014% of this planet. And we've got to stick together. And, and if we can't sit here and live with each other's differences on, uh, on some little fucking side rabbit hole, uh, you know, 9-11, peak oil, near-term human extinction, uh, overpopulation in sub-Saharan Africa, that's certainly one that I hear about. Uh, you know, as long as we're sitting here and bickering like a bunch of goddamn fucking little two-year-olds and going off on our little snits, you know, we're just going to be more ignored, more maligned, more outcast than ever. This is exactly what the New World Order, the global corporatocracy wants. This is exactly what they want. We are playing directly into their hands by getting in to these absolutely pointless, meaningless little snits uh, uh, about this shit that, that uh, on the, uh, you know, at, at this point where we are as a planet, guys, where fucking 9-11 was an inside job, whether humans are gonna be extinct in 10 years or 50 years, uh, whether we're going peak oil or, or planet Venus first, you know, we all need to pull our fucking heads out of our asses so we don't all end up like Michael Rupert uh, putting a fucking gun through our heads and blowing our brains out, which is exactly what the fucking New World Order wants. Michael, I love your brother, but you gave, you gave these motherfuckers exactly what they wanted. Uh, an eco-Nazi's brains splattered all over the goddamn yard. Y you know? Anyway, I'm gonna wrap this rant up because I gotta pay it. It's dark. It's starting to rain. The lightning is flickering. Uh, the end times are rolling in. And I've got to party like it's 1999, and I am coming in to Austin, Texas. Hallelujah. Uh, I'll be checking in with you sometime. One more time, Brother Michael Rupert. Rest in peace. We love you, brother. Bye, guys.